to see you again or to meet you if you're new. This week I have a very exciting video for you. We are giving my room a makeover. I am so, so excited. I've been wanting to do this for the longest time. I have the plan in my head. I know exactly how I want it. And now all's left is to do it. So this is day one, the start of the makeover. It's currently Tuesday, the 17th of September. So I don't know when you're gonna see this, probably a few weeks from now, but this is the start. So nothing has actually been done yet. So I thought I'd quickly show you my original room, how it is now and talk you through what we're gonna do to it. So for those of you who actually watch my TikTok or my Instagram or anything, you're probably very familiar with my room by now. And if you have watched my TikTok, you will know that for the longest time, I have been sick of white walls. I am over it now. I think they're so plain, so boring. They've got nothing to them and I'm ready for a switch up. So guess what we're doing? We're gonna do the walls pink and the coving is going back to white. I say back to white, it hasn't been white the whole time I've been in this room, but at some point I guess it was. Either way, we're doing the walls. They're finally gonna be all pink and basically we're swapping it over. If you watched my room makeover TikToks last year, I originally had white walls and then gray coving and like skirting. And when I painted the pink, I didn't start with the white and then go over with the pink. I just went straight onto the dark gray. Hence why I ended up not being happy with the color that it came out. But also in general, I do think I got the wrong color. I literally just went on the day, picked the color that I thought was right, got the tin, started painting and then was like, oh, that's not what I wanted. So we're doing it differently this time. We're gonna get swatches and we're gonna make sure that I've got the right color before I start painting. Anyway, so this is the color that I had last year. It's called Happy Heart. I think I actually got it mixed and everything. It looks actually okay in this lighting, but trust me, it's not what I wanted at all. So that's the whole reason that we're actually doing the room is because I wanted to repaint it. And while I was at it, I thought I would give it a little rejig. So let me talk you through a couple of the things that are moving around. So as you first walk into my room, I have my main sort of display wardrobe. This is definitely staying where it is, along with this chest of drawers that's next to it. This is all staying. And just quickly, I actually decorated these bits myself. These are original like Ikea plain chest of drawer units. And I got these little like molding things off Amazon. I did it a few months ago, painted them white, dry brushed like the gold on them. So they looked a bit antique. And yeah, I put it onto all of my drawers and everything so they all match. And honestly, I think it was such like a low budget way to just upgrade all of my units and everything without actually having to go out and buy vintage ones. As much as I would love them, they're very expensive. My bed is actually getting shifted for the first time this end. It has always, every time I've make over this room, it's always stayed in this corner. I do like it in this corner, but I fancy a switch up. So it's gonna go on this wall. So that way I can watch the stars as I go to sleep, which will be very nice. Which means that this TV is going completely. I'm gonna switch to being a projector girly. So that way I don't have to commit to having an ugly TV sitting on my wall because it's the one thing that really annoys me. It's just this big black box you know and it's quite an old tv anyway so i think it's it's time to go this shelf is going to stay where it is conveniently because then i can put uh the projector on the top and i can pan it over to this wall because this is pretty much going to stay bare for now until i decide what i want to do with it because the vines and everything they are sadly going for good i'm just not I'm not in love with them anymore. So the vines, fairy lights, that's all getting taken down. That's gonna be a plain pink wall for now. This shelf, staying where it is. I might ask my dad to shift it up a few inches, but for now, she's good. That wardrobe's obviously staying as it is. This little like bedside cabinet is either gonna move to the other end with me, or I'm gonna leave it there because over here in this space, I'm gonna put a vanity. I have wanted a vanity in this room for the longest time ever, pretty much ever since I moved in here. I have tried many times in my head to configure a way to get some sort of vanity desk, dressing table, whatever in here. And I've just never been able to make it work. And somehow now, after years and years, it's clicked in my brain. I've configured it, I've drawn it out. I, I'm hoping it all fits the way I think it's gonna fit. If not, this is gonna be for nothing, but Either way, I haven't actually bought the vanity or the stool or chair, whatever it's gonna be yet, because I'm still, I'm in an ring over a few choices. I need to actually decide which one I want and get that ordered. Uh, but for now, I'm so excited. I, I literally can't wait. Like I said, vanity is gonna go here and either this mirror is gonna follow it and it's gonna, you know, be the main sort of feature mirror over here. Or I'm going to get like a vintage like vanity set that's going to have like the mirrors and everything attached. So that mirror will just stay here. Or what I am thinking with this full length mirror, it's either going to go just rest against the wall because obviously the bed's not going to be there anymore. Or if this mirror moves, I hope you're keeping up, I'm going to put that mirror where that mirror is, but like sort of bring the chest of drawers forward to slot it in and then I can slide it in and out as I want. I hope all of that made sense. And the final thing, that little unit down there is 
going oh my god it's so ugly i've hated it the whole time i pretty much had it but it was just convenient and it was cheap you know and it just stored all like the odd bits and bobs that i don't reach for every day but now that i'm shifting the room around there's actually no space for it and i've been wanting to get rid of it so yeah that's going like i said a bit fumbly i've got the idea in my head i've got the vision i hope it's gonna turn out the way i want it so a lot's happening to this room it's all getting rejigged it's getting repainted there's so much that i want to do to it and obviously you're going to see throughout this video what happens for now the first sort of order of business is the paint. What colour do I want? Because there is no way I'm making the same mistake as last year and starting painting and realising that's not the colour. So we're going to go to B&Q now and I'm going to go pick out a few samples, a few swatches and I'm just going to pop them somewhere on my wall and then that way I can see them in the day, in the night, different light and whatever because I'm not going to go back and get the paint to at least Friday because I'm actually going to Brighton for a couple of days. It will have a bit of time to cure, have a bit of time to set, I can see how I feel and if I need to go back and try out some different colours then I have time to do that because actually Emily's going on holiday for the next week so this is the perfect time to redecorate. I can decorate in here, stay in her bedroom. We've got a week, we've got a week and hopefully I feel like we're going to get it done. So yeah, let's go to B&Q. <laughs> thought while I'm here I'm gonna look at lampshades and also potentially gold light switch plug things you know like plug sockets and everything because I want to switch those out in my room I thought I'd see if they have anything cute uh by the looks of it nothing's really jumping out at me all of these are really ugly so I'm gonna go ahead and say no they do have a couple pink ones down the bottom again not really my thing I want something like pink and fluffy and cute so I guess I'm gonna have to look online for that. Let's go to the paint, shall we? Come to Farrow and Ball. These paints? Because that's what Freddie my love used when she painted her flat, but they're really expensive. And I'm trying to look the exact colors that she used. So I was thinking maybe I could get them like color matched or something, which I think is again what she did. I've just found this one in the little swatch called Calamine. I was under the impression that she genuinely swatched Calamine lotion and took it to get colour matched and now I'm thinking she actually just took the paint that was called Calamine and got it like colour matched in Dulux so it was a cheaper paint which makes a lot more sense than taking genuine Calamine lotion to be colour matched but Calamine lotion's a cute colour so what can you do? I'm trying to be discreet about this but there's no way to be discreet This is the colour that I like basically I came in here like about a month ago and picked up a load of these to test in my room and this is the colour that I end up liking the most out of them but now I hate it, so what do I do? Right, this is what I was thinking, like get a few of these deluxe like swatch things and just pop a couple of them on my white wall and see what I think. But realistically, I want swatches of a few of those pinks and the, the rail thing, but I don't really, I just don't know how it works. Why did I come here without my dad? The fact that I thought I could do this by myself is laughable. Just no idea what I'm looking for. I have come across this though, got some glitter paints. That sounds like it could be up my street but those pinks are not so what do we do regardless i know i need some paint brushes so i'm gonna pick up a little pack of these we haven't even started the act of decorating and already i can tell this is gonna be a long video still be in q hall for you picked up some paint brushes just some basic ones i'm pretty sure my dad has like rollers and trays and stuff like that at home i'll double check with him like i should have brought him with me but still and then he can you know i'm coming back anyway to get the proper tin of paint so whatever i don't have now i'll get then you know i got i ended up only getting three samples i did really really want the farron ball sample in calamine after realizing that's what she was talking about but if i wanted to actually buy the paint it was like 60 or 70 quid for a full tin of paint for what i need for my whole room uh i don't think so considering one of these tins would only be about 30 you know so i'm hoping that at least one of these is roughly what i want to go on so we've got dulux pretty pink matte like the only proper pink color that dulux do just run in the mill bit rude uh dulux do better also got two from good home so yeah i got these two we got sakai sakai and isumi i probably pronounced those wrong but one slightly more pink the other one's a bit more of like a ballet nude i mean i'm more leaning towards this color but i thought i've got to test them out in my room as paint on the wall I have to get a true test you know because that's the one thing i didn't do last year so we're gonna try that do you know what i'm so eager i'm probably gonna paint these on my wall as soon as i get in so i'll see you then okay we're back from being q i've got all my goodies let's pick a wall and do a swatch i'm thinking about doing a couple like on a couple of the walls because obviously the lighting's different at different times of the day and whatever so i might do some up there and then maybe a couple down here and then we'll choose just know one thing i am nervous as hell to do this i'm very 
nervous. Okay, I just did the first side of swatches up there for TikTok. I'm filming two vlogs at once and I hate them all at the moment. <laughs> I don't like either of them but let's swatch them over here so you can see in real time and maybe they might look better down there but at the moment I don't like any of them okay this is the Dulux pretty pink which if you were thinking you were going to buy this and it was going to be pink yeah you're wrong it's actually uh purple and get a little swatch even the swatch is really difficult to do to be fair the color's coming off slightly different on camera but in what world is that pink that's purple and I hate it. But you know, let's try the others over here. They might look different. So this is Sakai, which was the one I thought I was gonna have like, you know, the most promise with. But let me just swatch her next to it. Again, the color's not quite what you're seeing. It looks a lot more mauvey and dark on camera, but regardless, it's not a color that I was expecting. I just want soft light baby pink and that's still too dark right let's do the last one this is isumi which is very thick this is the slightly more like nudie ballet shade do her right up here yeah instantly you can see she's too dark oh why is it that color okay so that's the free swatches of the more affordable pinks that they had at b&q and i hate every single one okay looks like back to the drawing board we're gonna have to pop back there at some point and i'm thinking it's gonna have to be today though isn't it i don't know i'm gonna have to pop back and uh get i, I think i'm gonna have to get something mixed like a lighter color because they're awful i don't i don't like them good morning it is day two of my room makeover today we're going to continue the search for the paint because obviously i want to find the perfect shade preferably before i actually the day i start painting i don't want it to be last minute i want to make sure and know that i have it none of the samples yesterday worked i wasn't pleased with any of them apart from maybe sakai the slightly more pinky shade it was the right sort of like shade and i guess tone or whatever either way it was kind of similar i just want that but like a heck of a lot lighter so i've got a few options in my head one, we're going to go to Wix today and we're going to try there instead. I never really go to Wix. It's literally around the corner from my B&Q. My dad just always goes to B&Q when he gets like hardware stuff. So that's where I assume to go. But we're going to try Wix and see if they've got some better colours to offer me. I actually did peep on their website last night and they had some cute blush shades. So I'm having high hopes. And they were in the own like Wix own paint brand. So I feel like they're going to be slightly more affordable. If that fails, I am actually going to drive a little bit further to the Dulux like paint center there's like one fairly near me that i can just get my own paint mixed up and i actually re-watched freddie my love's old flat room makeover videos and i screenshotted the code of the pink that she used in one of her rooms that i absolutely am in love with and she said just take it to the deluxe counter show them the code and they'll literally mix the paint then and there so if all else fails that's what we're gonna do if not i was debating last night making sakai a lighter color myself to just buying a huge tin of white mixing it myself and just until i get my perfect shade i think that's the only way i'm gonna really be happy like i said we're gonna try wix first fingers crossed we find it in wix so let's go we have arrived at our destination with all fingers and toes crossed that i'm gonna find my paint color i've actually bought sakai with me and i bought the receipt from b&q just in case i get stopped and they think i'm stealing uh, just so i can attempt to color match to the bottom of this like that is the color that i want but the paint inside is not i don't i don't understand it it's not the math is not mathing the paint is not painting so let's go see what we find as usual i have no idea what i'm actually looking for looking for like the black shades in the wick's own paint got a little dulux mixing thing so that's great i don't think i have to go to rochester but i mean they do have a lot more pink shades than they had in b&q so that's promising I found these three shades so far these two are the most promising that one it's called blush pink i don't really see it I, i'm debating asking if i can get a sample of them both fingers crossed if they can mix up a sample of both of these the pink ones and i can take those home swatch them decide come back ask them to make a full tin I just hate talking to, to staff okay i think i found a way better aisle oh my god okay here's the pink shades i was looking at last night can't believe i nearly missed this aisle this is where all the paints that i was looking at online are poetic pink and blush were the two that i like the most and they have sample parts okay i think i'm gonna grab hopefully if they have them both of those which they do and we're gonna swatch those at home i'm gonna scrap the dulux ones okay i'm gonna try all three shades we're gonna get a marshmallow a poetic pink and a blush Let's take these to the counter, get them home, get them swatched, and hopefully one of these three is going to be the colour. 
Okay, I'm back now. I've got all three shades. I'm very excited and very optimistic for these. They look really good online. And like I said, the paint was really affordable. It was like £15 for a decent sized tin. So let's give them a swatch. I can just hear the comments of people being like, oh my God, you didn't name the swatches. How are you supposed to know what watches which? So for those people, if you are out there, I've named my swatches. So these are the ones from yesterday. This is what we're competing against. So this is blush. <gasps> Already that is a better color. It's a bit more cool toned than what I'd like, but she is significantly lighter than the rest of them. So, so far, yeah, I like her. I like her. Also, if anyone calls me out for not doing like a proper big square of swatch, do you know how hard it is to, to get this off the brush? Okay, this is 605 Poetic Pink. <gasps> oh, this looks promising. She's ever so slightly darker but she's a lot better than that one. Oh, it, it's looking good guys this is the last swatch that i picked up this is 610 marshmallow and oh, i don't think it's my favorite if i'm being honest it's really it's a lot more mauvey again the camera is making it look significantly darker than it is but it is more of like a cool toned mauve even though it's marshmallow like that's not the color that i was really expecting but out of the three i like how light this one is but i like the tone of this one i think we're gonna have to end up going back to wix you know right update wix is definitely a lot more promising than being i will say that right now so slay for wix i do like the colors poetic pink as i said i think is my favorite out of the three but i want it as light as blush so <laughs> I'm going to go back to Wix. I'm going to take my dad with me this time. And I'm going to ask about the whole Dulux like mixing paint thing. Either say, can you make a version of Poetic Pink that's like lighter than it is? Or do I just give them the Freddie My Love code and hope for the best? If they can make samples, that's great. I'll just be like, look, can you make these two in a sample? And then we just have to, if not, I'm just going to have to go with one of these. Because at the end of the day, I'm painting my room in like two days. So I need to figure out what colour gonna use but yeah i'm about to head back to wix with my dad so i'll see you there we are back at wix for the second time you know what they say third time's a charm let's go and find my paint I'm gonna have a look at the dulux thing again and get some of the samples and then potentially ask them to make a sample of one of the colors i don't know Okay guys, I'm back. I couldn't really talk much in there because there was a lot going on, but we went to the little mixing thing. The girl was helping us. She, we was there for ages, by the way. It was very, very complicated. I picked up some samples of theirs, like the Dulex little, the card things. And I was like, look, this is gonna sound stupid. I said, I want the color of my jacket. That's why I wore it. She was like, we can try and color match your jacket. She literally tried to color match it and it didn't work sadly, just couldn't pick up the color. And then I showed her one of the paint samples that already had the poetic one. And I was like, look, I like this. I like how it looks but I don't like it once it's dried like it dries too dark and so she like painted some of this out tried to color match this and I was like if you could get it just a shade lighter but then that wasn't working and like no actually it it confirmed and then it came up black and she was like well it's not black is it I was like no so that didn't work in the end I ended up getting a tester of it's called sweet nugget or something sweet nougat however you pronounce it and to be fair on the card it looked a completely different color then when she brought it up on the computer it was even darker and she was like well that's just not the same color is it but do you want to just try this one she said it seems like it might be close on the card get it home and just have a whirl so I was like you know what we'll just give it a whirl she said it's mainly white based so it should be quite a light color so I'm gonna give it a whirl but just out of the corner of my eye I'm looking at the samples from earlier and poetic pink doesn't look as dark and intense as it did before it's actually looking like quite a nice color and blush blush is really nice because it's so light but it's too cool toned i might like poetic pink you know like now that i'm looking at it oh it's such a shame you really can't see the colors but poetic pink this one the middle one that we did is actually not looking too bad i do want it a shade lighter though same as over here it's the bottom one here it doesn't look awful now that i'm looking at it so i think final plan of action for today i'm going to test out this sample it's quite a massive sample as well three pound fifty for this and it's huge and i'm pretty sure these are like 255 and that's tiny i mean i it's a sample i literally need to do one swatch so i don't know why i needed this much let's swatch sweet nougat right i've just opened the tin this is the color that we're working with i don't know but let's test her out i'm gonna put her right next to the last one. Oh no 
God, no, that's even darker. Instantly, that's a night. Okay, so maybe my issue is I'm judging them instantly, but I do definitely think poetic pink is growing on me. I think we might have found it. I'm still debating adding some white and maybe testing out a slightly lighter shade of it, but I really like poetic pink now. I'm like looking at the shades and I'm like, yeah, I think, I think it might be it, you know. Oh, we might have found it by accident. I didn't need to go and get that one. Welcome back to day three of our room makeover. Today we're actually going to start moving bits around and actually get in the room and get going. I've been busy the last couple of days so I haven't really done much. I went to Brighton to see my friend and then I spent the morning driving my sister to the airport so she could go on holiday. So that way I can use her room for the week while I decorate mine. Very convenient. Wonder why I picked this week. Today we are back at Wix because I think I've officially decided on Poetic Pink, which was the middle shade that we got from Wix the other day. I looked at it last night when I got home and I was like, oh, that's actually actually not that bad. And then I was looking at it again this morning and I was like, do you know what? I think that is my color. I have been debating adding white and making it lighter, but honestly, I think I actually like it how it is. I just had to give it a chance. So we're gonna go and get a tin of that. Also, while we're here, we're gonna get some white wood paint as well to do all my coving and my skirting i'm hoping to get that started tonight and at least get the first coat on and we also need to pick up like a roller and a tray and just like the odd little bits like that so yeah that is the plan for today and then obviously when i get home um i'm gonna start like the actual process of clearing out my room and just getting it ready and like i said hopefully we can get on the first coat of white this evening let's go find my paint there she is and i've been frequently informed not to go for silk paint and to definitely go for matte and i want matte anyway don't know if i'm gonna need two tins because i've got quite a small room it says two for 24 so i'm like that is kind of a good deal do you think that i need two how big is this tin right i just gave my dad a call because i wasn't sure i'm gonna get two tins just to make sure because it's two for 24 and then we need to find the white wood paint let's get two of you guys there's like a million and one options for interior wood paint how am i supposed to know what to pick also there's different shades of white does that matter i literally have no idea but I'm gonna I'm gonna go for Wix I think again because it's the cheapest paint and paint is paint. Does it have to be expensive? I don't think so. I'm not picking Dulux. I I'm boycotting Dulux personally. I'm just fed up with being gaslit by them. Quick dry interior wood paint, but I don't want it glossy though. I just want like matte. That's satin finish. Satin might be okay. Oh, there's matte. I think this is it. And to be fair, the tin. I don't need a massive tin because I'm only doing like my skirt and coven. It's not exactly that big. 16 pounds oh my god it's actually one pound dearer to get a tin that size of that paint than it is to get a big tin that size of that the math doesn't quite math but okay but this is the right thing so this is what i'm gonna get okay i'm back home now i've got all of my tools and supplies my paint i'm very excited to get started for now, the main job is clearing out this room because it is full of my stuff. This is currently what we're working with. I just let it get messy because I was like, you know what? I'm literally about to clear it out so it doesn't really matter if everything's not tidy. So now I'm just going to go through and just move it all out. Apart from, I think the wardrobe, I can't really move. I'm going to be honest. I can't bother to take it down everything. I don't know how to even do that. So I'm just going to take the clothes out and then I'll just maneuver it into the middle of the room, I guess. The rest of drawers, I'll probably do the same. Potentially wiggle that one out. I think I could. That one, I want to try and wiggle out, but it's so heavy because it's full of like makeup, skincare, and it will just take too much effort to take it all out so i might just wiggle that one around the room and try and get this one out bed i'm also just going to move all my bedding into my sister's room and then shuffle the bed in the middle which is what i did last time i painted and it was literally fine and then just clear everything off the shelves and the, yeah and then just the mirrors and that i can easily unhook myself this should be fun this should be fun <laughs> talking about my appearance through most of this video okay because i'm decorating i don't need to look glamorous okay but i've got to tell you what just happened i couldn't film it because then i'd have to re-watch it when i'm editing it and it would just scare me all over again but basically as i've been like emptying my shelves i thought it'd be a really great idea to put 
everything in these drawers as they're going to go anyway when I'm finished I thought like just to keep all you know my ornaments and whatever like safe in there I opened this one and I oh, I tell you it was huge a massive spider in the drawer okay I don't even want to say the word because it's gonna freak me out but it was I'm not exaggerating it was like you know so I screamed naturally ran and got the hoover and sucked it up I'm sorry I want to be kind to animals but spiders are just on a whole other level I have to get rid of them that is the third huge massive like borderline tarantula i found in my house in the last three weeks what's going on with spiders why all of a sudden are they like huge um can they stop please <laughs> can they not come in my room minor little laps but let's carry on i'm nearly done emptying the room it's actually not taking that long to be fair but i do have a lot of stuff so emily's room is packed <laughs> room is pretty much empty it's looking a bit crazy in here managed to take down these little command little like hook things that were hooked up there for the vines as you can see two of them ripped off quite a deep chunk into the wall i don't know if you can see how deep that is so that's concerning but you know nothing a bit of polyfiller won't fix while i've got the white out as well i'm gonna go over the swatches i know most people wouldn't do that you just go over with paint but it will bug me do you know what i mean i need it to just be a blank canvas when i paint in general i will be honest with you in case you can't see this wall has not really been plastered the last time it was like redecorated so we are working with a slightly indented botched wall but it's not really the end of the world and do you know what we just it's a pl plastering's a tiresome expensive job so you know what i think the walls will do they'll be fine i'll just fill any holes and any grooves that i need to do and hopefully when everything's painted and everything's back in the room i won't even notice it so i think it'll be fine took the tv off the wall by myself like a big girl i what else did i do oh i took down that shelf like a big girl and the mirror off the wall dust from a drill behind it i took off the curtain rail by myself like i am boss girling this i've never felt myself work so hard i'm feeling very proud so now um, i've moved actually a couple of the units as well out like the big tall like makeup drawers and like my little bedside table so i had a little bit more room to maneuver the wardrobe i did ask my dad if he would take it down so that um that would be another thing i didn't have to move around and he was like well you could just move it so i don't think that's happening so we're just gonna have to maneuver around the wardrobe as well i've got a decent amount of space i'm just gonna go and grab some sheets now to cover over like my wardrobe and obviously my bed and everything for when i paint i don't want to get paint on it and then i guess we can get started with the white am i missing something i think i think we can begin <laughs> okay filming this because i'm gonna film it from a distance but i think i'm cursed because there's another spider on my floor are you kidding me oh my god okay right i'm gonna go get the hoover and get rid of it and we're gonna carry on painting <laughs> I refuse to turn the camera around because quite frankly I look a mess and I'm covered in paint but I've done the first layer of white and it's pitch black outside the white took me so long to be fair actually I did pause for dinner so that's probably why but yeah this is the first coat she's looking pretty good I think it's gonna need at least three to be like properly covered you know which I'm more than happy to do and I've obviously done it along the skirting board down the bottom as well which is really iffy I'm keeping the carpet I didn't really want to it's not really my vibe it's gray it's kind of ugly and it's beat but I plan on moving into my sister's room next year so I just thought there's really no point in buying new carpet I'll just get a cute rug and most of it you won't even see anyway so for now coat one is done and you know what i'm still feeling pretty lively and i think i might begin coat two and then i'll just see how far i get before i get fed up and then we'll carry on in the morning so i'm gonna go ahead carry on with this it's really awkward to film because of where i've put the wardrobe and everything so i don't know when i'll see you next but i'm gonna go ahead and get started with coat two and with that i'm gonna end the first of the room makeover diaries here i didn't film an outro because i wasn't entirely sure when i would be splitting these videos up i do hope that you enjoyed this video if you did please feel free to give it a like down below and subscribe if you haven't already it means so much to me and i will see you in part two bye